Okay, so I got a question on uh, restlessness and impulsiveness and how to deal uh, with restlessness and impulsiveness. Um, now the thing is, restlessness and impulsiveness, I mean restlessness usually and impulsiveness, <coughs> impulsiveness arises because there are belief systems that uh, when I feel restless or impulsive, like I could be impul every time I feel restless and impulsive, I might have the thought, have a donut, or I might be impulsive to scream or be disagreeable with people, whatever it is. Um, so uh, the thing I would do with that, whatever the 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 belief systems are that are like orchestrating me, like I have to eat some food or I have to be I have to argue with this person because I feel restless is I would do the spiritual work of clearing whatever the impulsive, impulsivity is. Like if it's to eat food, uh, you know, I, I, I cancel my interest in, in sugar. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Uh, I place my urges to eat uh, uh, sugary foods into God's infinite light and love and I pray for miracles and transcendence. So, or, or I cancel my urges to be impulsive around uh, p uh, food or people. So I'd, be, I'd keep doing these prayers, or I pray for a miracle to see it differently, or I could see peace in this. Whatever uh, the prayers are, I'd keep doing those prayers until I feel that I'm deleting the underlying impulsive urges that arise in these restless and impulsive states. And I'd be willing to go to a lens to make progress in deleting whatever the impulsive uh, behavior is. Plus, I would then sit I'd make a, a commitment that the next time I feel impulsive, I'm going to sit in my chair and feel the impulsiveness out and not, uh, not do anything until the impulsive urge or the restlessness di uh, dissipates. In the early days when I had gout attacks, I'd sometimes sit with them for four hours straight and just try not to attach the story, the thoughts, the labelling and just be with the, the pain until it dissolved. And over the, over the, you know, the years, um, you know, those things diminished dramatically and even disappeared miraculously with many things. So I would have a commitment to use the sitting with it until it passes tool. Is that easy? No. If, if you can't do that, you can pray for the willingness to just sit with it until it passes. One of the things with impulsiveness and restlessness is that you have thoughts to try and escape it and act out on it. You know, put the TV on, eat some donuts, have some vodka whatever it is. So, you know, it's like praying for the willingness to sit and feel it out until it starts to pass and not act out on the urge. Each time you can sit with the restlessness and let it pass, uh, you're, you're undoing the stack of all that impulsiveness and uh, restlessness that is within you. So, you know, that's what I learnt from uh, David Hawkins, one of my teachers that if you just keep sitting with it until it passes, it gets easier and easier. It's not always the same. And one of the greatest spiritual experiences, is if you're feeling impulsive, is just to be willing to sit with it and be with it, whatever it takes, and not act out until you experience it passing. And each time you do this, you'll find it will pass a little bit quicker and your spiritual growth will rocket. So that's what I do. Uh, but the main thing is, oh, you can use the observer on it, but if you have impulsiveness and you act out before it starts to pass, uh, basically it will continue because you'll then miss the opportunity of being with it and transcending it and starting to get to experiences of your the capacity of consciousness to sit through things uh, while they pass rather than to act out on things like restlessness and impulsivity. Okay, so 